Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here. Back for the shiniest, most heavily chromed wedding since a Morton Joe married the fifth of the five wives in Rimworld. And if you watched last episode, you were blessed to bear witness as Krusty Cornelius and his new bride, Crystal, bathed themselves in victory. Shiny. Chrome. They dispatched the unhallowed wretches of the Pain Army, returned them to the Earth, and trod upon the dust of their shattered bones on the road to eternal glory in Valhalla, where they shall live, die, and live again forever. It was beautiful. Uh, the, the wedding had everything. There was a raid by pirates. There was eyes getting smashed out of heads with clubs. I don't know what more there... They could have done to make it a better shindig, except maybe have some booze and possibly spray the cake with Wilton Silver Color Mist, the shiniest, chromiest food coloring spray in this life or the next. Seriously, though, if you want to see some really, really funny stuff on the internet, like sort of the internet at its best, really, go read the Amazon product reviews for that stuff. Wilton Silver Color Mist. It's a food spray. The reviews on that, they're absolutely brilliant. They really are. Go do yourself a favor. Read them right now. Looks like Marie is working on patching up our turret. How's everybody doing health-wise, though? I mean, shiny and chrome things may be, but we've got a little toxic buildup here because the toxic fallout has been falling out for a good long while. Flores doesn't have toxic buildup. He's just got muscle parasites. Is somebody working on that? All right, looks like Silver's taking care of him. Good. Our turrets are finished. That's fantastic. We do currently have the power to those turrets set into the off position. Yo, what are you guys doing, though, out wandering the wild? You're cleaning rock rubble? It's There's nuclear fallout, Sappy. Is this the time to be fucking sweeping up graves? Krusty's going to grab a dead turkey. All right. We didn't even shoot that one. It just died of natural causes. Toxic buildup extreme. That turkey is dead. Do we... Guys, okay, hold on a second here. Now, I, I don't, let me play devil's advocate for just a moment, which means I got to go all scenery chewing over the top Al Pacino on this one. Do you really think we should be eating a turkey that died from toxic buildup? That's the worst Al Pacino of all time. I think the question bears merit, though. This turkey, it's been dead for a while, and it was the toxic fallout that killed it. Do we really want to be eating irradiated turkey meat? Is this, this this the wisest decision we've ever made? Sure, okay, you, now you may be saying, Pete, what about the odds that we get some, like, radioactive turkey powers? If a bite from a radioactive spider can make Peter Parker the man he is today, why not the bite of a radioactive turkey? And by that I mean actually a bite of a sandwich made from radioactive turkey. What if it does the same thing for us? We could be the next turkey volume guessing man, Pete. You're not necessarily wrong, and I guess being the next Turkey Volume Guessing Man is a pretty laudable goal. I'd love to be the next Turkey Volume Guessing Man. I just don't think that's how it's going to work. I think we're vastly... Rick, what are you eating in here? Rick is wandering in the freezer because that's a quality place to wander. How's our temperature doing? We got up to 58. Of course, the temperature outside is 56. This heater is doing nothing. We've got it set to 70, but this thing does not seem to be warming things up even a little bit. It's like got a very disappointing output. How come this is not powered, though? Oh, probably because the switch is off. Which is fine. We actually don't really want these powered up yet. This is all a part of my master plan for the infestation. And I don't remember if I mentioned this last episode or not, but my master plan for the infestation is just build a bunch of heaters. Set them to, let's say, roughly a stupefyingly ludicrous temperature. I'm going to go with, what's a good temperature for cooking? Like like 375, right? That's a pretty good temperature if you want to cook something. So let's go. Oh, we can't hit 375. That's a bit disappointing. Can we hit 350? We can hit 350. Fine. So we're going to roast things then at a nice 350 degrees. And if we do get infested, and I learned this sort of by accident, actually. One of my other colonies that I was playing off camera... It got infested, and I had accidentally thrown a Molotov cocktail into a room where the infestation occurred and started a rampaging, out-of-control fire. In a sealed cave, a rampaging, out-of-controlled fire really, really cranks the temperature up. And what I learned is that while killing an infestation with fists, feet, knives, and guns is very, very difficult, letting them die a heat stroke, turns out, 
pretty damned easy and pretty damned effective. So my ultimate goal then, if it comes down to an infestation, the way I'm going to combat it, I'm just going to kick the heaters on here. Turn these bad boys on, let them up to 350, put those bugs on the center rack and just, you know, let them cook. It will work. We can make them die of heat stroke. We don't even have to fight them. The trick then is going to be getting them to successfully spawn in a controlled area, which is why I'm trying to get somebody to install some freaking beds in here. But nobody's helping me out. Also, somebody should really finish the wall that got blown down when the sappers tunneled in to get to the wedding. We could also probably crank the speed up because watching this in the slowest speed, a little bit dull. We were doing some maintenance and keeping an eye on some things. So, you know, I, I do like to sort of keep a close eye on my colonists. What is Marie up to now? She's building a vent. Once you build the rest of these vents, Marie, shouldn't you sort of get to work on maybe moving these statues, reinstalling those beds, finishing building these heaters, perhaps? Gonna haul some stone out of the way so you can finish the heater. Well, we've got our turrets up. We've got our heat situation sorted. They're set to 350. We're ready to cook. Who's got a minor break risk, though? Flores? I'm going to guess Flores is probably unhappy about his intestinal parasites. Yeah, the muscle parasites are making Flores real unhappy. Is it treatment time? No, he's got a whole day. He's going to go to bed. That's fine, Flores. I know you're also, really, I think what we know the secret is. Flores is actually not, the, he, the muscle parasites, he's milking that as an excuse. What's his real problem? Flores is friggin' heartbroken. That's the problem. Look, Krusty and Silver having a little honeymoon romp in there in their bedroom and it does border Flores's room you know these walls are made of stone they they're good conductors of sound he can hear the headboard banging against the wall in there while Krusty and Silver get down and it's just like a dagger it's just a dagger in Flores's teeny tiny little heart man that's got to be a that's got to be a tough I'm sorry Flores we tried to find you a lady but you're just so unlikable what's wrong with Marie she's a hard worker She's wearing some kind of blast helmet. Yeah, she sweats a lot. And yeah, she's got that weird, creepy voice thing going on. But still, now is not the time to be picky, dog. Also, why, Silver, are you cooking? Aren't you like beyond our backup, Chef? Silver should never cook. You have a zero... Oh, never mind. Never. Okay, that's, that's hunting, actually. What's your cooking like? It's good enough to not poison us, I suppose. So there's that. You can't grow right now. There's nothing to repair. There's nothing to mine. There's nothing to plant cut. Apparently, there's nothing to haul because you are cooking. There's nothing to haul. Really? How is there nothing to haul when we are we need statues? That's got to count as construction, I guess. Moving beds and whatnot must count. Did the toxic fallout go away? No. But there's an eclipse. That's very bad. That's going to cut off our power supply, which means the only thing powering our entire base currently is that wind generator and our four batteries. On the plus side, four batteries. We're pretty well sorted. Marie, what are you doing? Hauling slate blocks. Okay, she's going to finish up the walls. This is good. Could you finish them in a fashion so that you can reach the walls, though? Finally move the bed. Finally move the hospital bed. Finally move in the statue. Good. All right. Now go get the squirrel statue and put that in place, would you? Oh, what are you doing? You're building a roof. Where? One colonist is idle. Who is idle? Sappy. Sappy is idle. Why is Sappy idle? Shouldn't you be doing art, though, Sappy? Did you finish another artwork? You finished another artwork. What did you finish this time? A sandstone sculpture. Good. What's this one up? I mean, the last one. Now, this is the, still the one of the f squirrel that's on fire. Wait, did you make two statues of a flaming squirrel? What's this one? Uh, that's just, okay, a city in the distance. Now, you definitely did not finish that sculpture. All right, this needs to be installed in the good room. You put that in with Krusty. So we should probably get you another statue then. What are we going to make this one out of? Probably sandstone again. Seems fine. And you know what? Wait, we already have you set to make a large sculpture. Why the hell is Sappy not doing this? We have all everything we need, do we not? Requires 135 ingredients. We actually do not have enough sandstone to make a large sculpture. We would need someone to cut that stone in order to make that happen. Which I suppose we can do. We're still well short of our goal. 299. No, keep cutting stone. Um, somebody go cut some sandstone blocks. Flores. <sighs> we really need Flores to get better. 
That's what we need. You walked all the way out there to build one tiny chunking square of roof. All that way through the toxic fallout, poisoning yourself as you go in order to accomplish that. Krusty, what the hell are you doing? Building a roof. Why? That roof got struck by lightning, I guess? It must have been lightning strikes that brought it down. Marie, what are you doing now? Also building a roof. Pirate merchant from Township at the Valley. What do you got for sale here, Johnny Pirate Merchant? You're a pirate merchant. I'm expecting some sweet action from you. It's got to be like pirate radio. We definitely blocked ourselves off from building this too, didn't we? Because you will not build at an angle. Who has a major break risk? Flores. There's nothing we can do to help Flores until he's not sick anymore. Marie, consuming a simple meal. As soon as you're done, I'm going to try and get you to prioritize this. Fantastic. You won't do it. I'm guessing because this is in the way. Deconstruct that. I can't have holes in my walls, guys. All right. Marie. Architect. Structure. You gotta, we got to rebuild this wall. This wall is really fighting us here. Take five slate blocks and put them right there. I'm tired of having a hole in the base. <gasps> we finished our research. Krusty is the greatest genius who has ever lived. Yeah, that's right, Pete. Turns out when a man's well-sexed, well-loved, and well-fed by the woman who's the apple of his eye, why there ain't no scientific discovery what can elude him. Normally, I spend my time shooting hobos in the eye socket and laughing while my girlfriend bashes her pirate's brains out with the club, but sometimes, Pete, you gotta figure out the secret of Devil Strand. And I did. All right, so what do we want to research now? Marie's building this. That's acceptable. All right, hold on a second. Before we do that... Please finish building these walls. This is the most important thing going on in the colony right now is for you to rebuild those walls. Also, Krusty? Okay, Krusty's asleep. We're going to have Krusty assigned to, I think, cutting some stone. We need to figure out what our next project's going to be. I'm tempted of... Uh, brewing is tempting, but you know what else is tempting? Hydroponics. Rapidly grow crops indoor regardless of the terrain or the weather outside. I'd really love to get this gigantic area we have sort of hollowed out and waiting. I really want to turn this into like a crop production facility. Also, we really need to get to work on mining that. And if we have idle colonists, kind of now would be the time. So let's finish mining this out. We're going to make this thing enormous. Marie, though, what are you doing? Oh, somebody should go talk to the traders, too. Flores, you're our patented talking guy, but you're asleep. Uh, let's just wait till Flores wakes up. He should be out of bed relatively soon. Okay, Marie's going to go mine now. No, what is she? She's going to finish smoothing that floor. Okay, that's acceptable. Wait, did they leave? Yeah, okay. Who's our next best social person? Who's awake? Let's settle for that. Who is awake? Sappy, you know what? You're not great, but you're good enough. Go out there and trade with Kazuya the pirate merchant. Is a pirate merchant somebody who sells, like, pirated goods or, like, illicit substances? Or does he sell literal pirates? That's the question. Does this man actually sell pirates? And if so, what do they go for? What's the market price on a pirate? A superior pila, take it. A pump shotgun that's almost broken, take it. A normal pistol, take it. A short bow, take it. A great bow, take it. I just, I want this stuff gone. We have a normal pump shotgun at 85%. That one I'm going to hang on to. Frag grenades, those are also in pretty good shape. I think we'll hang... You know you know what? We already have frag grenades, though. Sell those, too. All right, and then all of our extra garbage water clothing. So let's get rid of these awful cloth pants, this busted T-shirt, broken... I mean, this stuff is all deteriorated, largely thanks to the toxic fallout, I think. Thin thread jacket. I hate to see it go, but adios. Caribou leather pants are still in pretty good shape and thus will fetch a relatively good price. Let's get rid of this toque. This is acceptable to me. So it turns out the pirate merchant did not sell pirates, but he would buy all of the clothing that we stole from a bunch of dead men. All things considered, I think it's a pretty respectable outcome. Also, it occurs to me that maybe we should put a roof on our stockpile zone here as well. And we can do that fairly easily. Give me structure, though. Yeah. Let's just put a chunk of slate wall here. And if we put a chunk of slate wall here, we should have enough support that we can roof this area. So let's just zone this as a roofed area. Expand the build roof area. We're going to roof all of this. There we go. Somebody will come out and build that pretty much immediately. Flores still? Yeah. 
Flores, I know you're heartbroken, but what do you want me to do about it, man? What can I do, Flores, to make your day better? What can I help you with? Rebuffed by silver times 14. Urgently hungry in a moderate amount of pain. Feeding Flores would be... Just get up and feed yourself, Flores. Just get up and eat. We have abundant food. We've got all of our bedrooms to neutral. Here you go. Flores, get rid of that major break risk by simply eating a meal. That's all you got to do, dog. And now he's getting back to cooking. All right, so Flores is down to a minor break risk. Are you still sick, though? He's still got these muscle parasites. I'm really not sure how we get rid of those. He's requiring treatment every couple days. It must be like a long-term condition that we just sort of have to come to deal with. I'm sorry, Flores, but uh, the diagnosis is heartbreaking. It's it's, it's muscle parasites. This uh, It's never going to get better, Flores. You just uh, have to come to grips with the new paradigm of you plus muscle parasites and an eternity of pain and unhappiness. I wish, uh, I wish I had better news. I wish Dr. House was here to eject you with mouse bites and cure you, but he's not, and there are no mouse bites to be had. Trade caravan's taken off. That's fine. They've served their purpose. What do we got here? Artillery shells. Those seem too dangerous to just leave lying around. So even though it will expose us to some toxic fallout, I am going to assign somebody to haul those. How's everybody's health looking? Uh, Marie has minor toxic buildup. It's a crusty has initial toxic buildup. But other than that, I think we're okay. And that toxic buildup with a little time spent indoors will go away. So we'll be all right. How you doing, Rick? Good. We haven't let Rick outside, which is fantastic. Our batteries are holding off pretty well. Our power situation seems to be reasonably well sorted. Our trees all died, though. That's disappointing. Mental break. Food wrench. Flores Grunt is pigging out on food. The last rebuffed by Silver. Flores, you're only setting yourself up for heartbreak, man. Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you torture yourself like this? She's a married woman, Flores. You can't fault Silver for being faithful to Krusty Cornelius. Also, if you engage in infidelious activity, I don't even think that's a word, infidelious. But if you gauge in lewd behavior with Silver, Krusty is going to shoot you in the eye socket, man. Yeah, Pete, I can pretty much guarantee he touches my wife and uh, whole Flores is getting a 30 out six shaped bullet wound right in his stupid, ugly face. I know you're always saying how you know, Flores is a good man, Pete, but if he's making time with my woman, Flores and I are going to have some words, and they ain't going to be kindly words either. Also, the guy's been laying around in bed all winter not doing shit. What is Sappy doing? He's researching. Where the hell is Krusty? Krusty's asleep. I was hesitant to pick Sappy up for the colony at first. I was a little worried about what he was going to contribute given his limited skills, but you know what? Sappy's actually been... A relatively okay pickup for the colony. His research skill is coming along respectably. His artwork has provided some pretty positive contributions. He's always willing to chip in around the harvest. He'll flick a switch or two, possibly flick a bean or two, although we haven't really seen Sappy get romantic. Speaking of which, how's your social, Sappy? You know, he doesn't really like Krusty that much. Other than that, he's he's okay. Who's Alyssa Sparkles Orchard and where is she? Why is she not here? You, th this could be the, the, the cure for Flores' heartbreak, Sappy. You have a sister. You got to bring her into the colony, dog. Also, we should be mining. It's the fifth of winter. Our food is still holding out strong. We got plenty. Let's get another mining order slap down here. Now, we don't want to let this get more than six tiles away from a support. So let's drop in another one just to be abundantly safe. I don't want anybody dying in a mine collapse. That would be very bad. So, structure, we'll just use slate. It's fine. So, we're going to want to put that right there, actually. And then I think we'll just mine up six tiles away from it. Again, mine collapse is very dangerous. This is something we should definitely take steps to avoid. We'll mine to there, then we'll see about maybe building in a little more structure. How's it going, though? Crusty? Getting in the mine? All right. Krusty's slinging that pickaxe. Look at him, though. Krusty carves through stone like a rock-eating gopher. This man cannot be stopped. He is the fastest miner in the Old West. He may not be the fastest gun in the Old West, but he's faster with a pickaxe than anybody else who's ever lived. Krusty will whoop ass with a pickaxe. 
Let's mine this out, and then we'll build another structural support in here as well. Really, what we should have... Do we have anybody who could craft? We need to cut more stone so Sappy can start doing artwork. Who's our crafter? Flores, of course, is our crafter. Do we have anybody else who's decent at it at all? Silver will do it. Jixi has something of a passion for art. We have a lot of people at a two who aren't really doing anything. Krusty, you know what? As long as you're researching, that means Sappy can't be researching. So, Krusty, hate to do this to you, but uh, prioritize cutting stone instead. We need to get up to a quantity wherein we can encourage Sappy to revisit his art career. We gotta, we gotta encourage the arts, Krusty. Well, you know me, Pete. I'm a big fan, a uh, big fan of the arts. Uh, we go, what, what do we got? That's Sappy, though. I gotta say, when it comes to my opinion of art and Sappy's opinion of art, let's just say our opinions don't necessarily fully overlap. Guy throwing a crucifix in a jar, of urine. I don't know, Pete. It's a little maple thorpy for my taste. What, uh, whatever happened? That squirrel on fire thing he did. It's a little weird. I got it in my bedroom, but it's, uh. I know it's a little too avant-garde for me. Whatever happened, just like, you know, a naked dude or maybe a naked chick. You got to go like Michelangelo's David or the Venus de Milo. You ain't got to get so damn fancy, Bo. Just uh, the nude human form is really kind of the penultimate when it comes to artwork, at least in Krusty's opinion. Um, Why are we sewing? For one, it's the fifth of winter. For two, toxic friggin' fallout, guys. No, don't allow sewing. No one should be sewing anywhere. Don't allow sewing. Is sewing off everywhere. No. Smoke leaf plant. Plants not going to grow in the winter, guys. Also, toxic fallout is going to kill everything. Silver, what are you doing? S stop sewing a pine tree. Got a flash storm. Who's idle? Probably sappy. Nope, Marie is idle. Well, we can fix that, Marie. Going to be idle on me? No idle hands. I saw that movie once, and you know what? It was kind of shitty enough the first time. I don't need to relive it. Always picking on a Seth Green, Jessica Alba joint, but I just kind of can't help myself. Also, Marie, the other thing you should be doing, reinstall this bed. Just letting that sit there. We can make this into like a makeshift hospital and or prison cell, one of the two. Or both. I mean, it could be a prison hospital. I suppose there's no reason both can't be true. Marie's going to go grab some slate and finish up that uh, support column for us. Flash storm is already over. I guess it's not really that uh, big of a deal when you have a flash storm and everybody's already huddled inside because of toxic fallout. So there's our support. Krusty's back to... Uh, was he still cutting stone or doing some research? Well, Sappy is on the art project. This is a fantastic way for him to spend his winter. And we'll let Krusty get back to doing the research. We had no collapses, no cave-ins. This is fantastic. So I think the other order then is just going to be mine. Finish mining this out. I want the whole thing destroyed. Let's level this entire mountain, guys. If we can do it, we're going to we're terraforming this place. We're going to turn this into our own little abode. Also, I can't help but notice there's a lot of dirt in here. Where's uh where's Sappy? He's supposed to be steaming mad at dirt at all times. This man is our rug doctor. Why is he not in here rug doctoring? You got to doctor the rugs, dog. Also, this hallway should probably be considered home territory. Actually, all of this should be considered home territory, really. Just square it out, because I like right angles. Not sure why. Something pleasing to them visually. Right angles are fun. They make it easier to calculate a hypotenuse. When there's a right angle involved, the hypotenuse, you know, it's just uh, A squared plus B squared, and you can square root of that, and you're cool. Who doesn't like an easily calculable hypotenuse? I love one. Flores, how are your gut parasites going? More cargo pods. What do we got? Uh, a bunch of corn that's going to be quickly irradiated, but I am going to have people go haul that. Flores is going to go pitch some horseshoes. Flores' mood has vastly improved. The rebuffed by silver thing is not going away anytime soon, but he had a break. We got plus 25 move from Catharsis, apparently pigging out on food has done him a, a good turn. On the downside, Flores, I hate to be a negative Nancy, but you are the person who's going to have to replace that food long term. All that food that you pigged out on and destroyed with your cadaverous sledding, yeah, you're, you're going to be the man who recooks all that, just, just so you know. 
That's on you, dog. You gotta. You, hey, you broke it. You bought it. Rick is in our refrigerator eating raw meat. Was he eating eggs? You egg sucker, Rick. Probably shouldn't call our mule an egg sucker, and we should probably make one of these a medical bed as well. So how's our temperature holding out? Yeah, 58 degrees, 56. Temperature outside is 31. 32? Okay. So our heaters are finally starting to kick on. Or at least it, it seems to be doing something. I still feel like maybe we should install another heater. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna... Where do we want to run it, though? We've got power in here. What if we just... You know what? Fine. Let's drop it in Marie's bedroom. Marie is the one who likes an impressive bedroom anyway, I think, right? Isn't that your... Like your bag, Marie, aren't you needy or something? Creepy breed, you're greedy. Marie wants the most impressive bedroom. Or at least needs an impressive bedroom, and that will up the wealth a bit. See, it's rather nice now. Mediocre impressiveness, mediocre wealth. It's spacious, and the beauty is rather nice. Minor break risk. Flores, we've struck compacted steel. We struck that compacted steel forever ago, guys. That's not news. And is that it from a... Are we fully mined? We are fully mined. I kind of feel like maybe we're going to have idle colonists. Or are we about to pick up a sixth colonist here in the dead of winter? All right, Anamu. What do you got? Space refugee. Are you worth it? You're 51 years old, which means you're not really a prime candidate for the love connection. But I suppose we could get kind of a May-December thing going here with Flores. How old is Flores? You know what? Never mind. You're age-appropriate for Flores. Flores is 46. You're 51. Uh, you know, five years when you get up uh, when you get up there. Five years when you're young seems like a huge gap. But in your late 30s, early 40s, five years is dropping a bucket. What are your skills like? You're steadfast, which is good. You're incapable of intellectual art or cooking. You're handy with a spade, good, or you're handy with a spade. You're decent with the construction. You can mine a little. You will craft, and you're actually surprisingly good at it. You're a brawler, which means you only want a melee. That's a bit of a drawback, because we don't really have a whole lot of good melee abilities. But your social skill is respectable, and your animal handling is also respectable. You won't cook, you won't art, you won't research. But you know what? I feel like we really just need another body. We got to get Flores. We got to get him a girl. That's all there is to it. Be like, Pete, that's, uh, you're going to try and hook Flores up with a girl? Are you prostituting this woman? I wouldn't say we're prostituting her so much as just offering her safety in exchange for potential sexual. Never mind. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a hooker situation, I guess. Are you still silver? Sappy's still sleeping in here, right? Yeah, that's Sappy's bed. So Sappy still sleeps in the main room. Krusty and Marie are double bunking. We got Flores. We got Marie. So we would have a room for this colonist, and also we could probably just dig another room as well. We've got space aplenty. It does decrease our overall ratio of ideal trap space for the infestation to non-ideal trap space for the infestation. But again, I, yeah, I kind of think we got to do this. We got to get him a girl, dog. We got to get Flores a girl. All right, go rescue. And by rescue, I mean capture. Yo, kidnap a stranger, Sappy. This is your job. Sing her a song of her future love and tell her how bright her future's gonna be. In fact, it's probably so bright that she may have to wear shades. There are so many dead animals out here. What are you coming out here for? To deconstruct? You guys are gonna go do what? Grab corn? This is a long walk for, like, a can of corn. We're gonna get a lot of toxic buildup for that. At this point, we might as well just grab the Megatherium wool, too, I guess. Megatherium wool, toxic buildup, new colonist on the way. Sappy, have you brought her back yet? All right, Sappy's got her in, and Sappy is tending to her wounds. Also, she has a gunshot wound. That's got to be left over from the whole space adventure. She's in restraints. She's slowed. She's got the hugest prison room of all time. Her space, extremely spacious, but it is hideous and dirty. The hideousness is going to come from the filth-crusted rocks that are everywhere. We could toss a haul order at this, but where would our dumping stockpile is effectively full. I'm kind of tempted to just make a dumping stockpile in this hallway and haul this junk out into the hall. Haul it out into the hall. Alternatively, though, what we'd really ideally be doing is having somebody cut it into stone blocks. 
You know what? It's gonna have to do for now. Sorry, your your room is definitely subpar, and for this I apologize. In the meantime, you know what? Once we've got you captured, I don't really want you living in squalor anymore. So let's just go ahead and preemptively carve you a new room. We'll do two there for the wall. So we'll put a door here. And we'll make you a nice little eight by eight room here. That'll be your new bedroom once you've agreed to join the colony and just stop mooching off of our food here throughout the winter. It is the sixth of winter. It's also, I think, about time to wrap this one up. Is Flores going to finally get his love connection like Krusty and Silver? Or is Sappy going to swoop in and maybe steal his potential girl? How old is Sappy? 23. Probably not. I think, he, you know, he may just bow out in favor of Flores. That'd be the right move, Sappy, really. We'll, we'll get you a girl too, dog. Don't worry. You're a tortured young artist. You're going to have no trouble finding love. Flores taking Anna Moo some food. That's clever thinking, Flores, right there. Propping her up. The way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. We'll find out if his path to progress is going to work, but that's it for this one. I'm going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see the burgeoning romance between Flores and Anamu, consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of RimWorld every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, thanks very much for watching. Maybe one day this toxic fallout will end. I hope so, and I'll see you again soon.